morning guys welcome to sunday we are in a hurry we've been kind of messing around doing nothing all day i have lots of plans let's get to it so this happened it is pouring snow out there you guys can you see it falling pouring snow that is not my favorite thing i hate snow i hate the cold but i love life so i'm gonna put up with it and i love canada and i love changing seasons let's see if my girl will come watch what happens penny i have to call her she never just comes on her own i have to actually call her my battery's about to die oh you're all wet pony here she comes be nice hi pet you coming uh-oh she's protecting her food source they are covered in snow covered i'm gonna give them some lunch before we head out but I'm going to feed them inside only because they don't have time to put blankets on them. They don't have to have blankets on. I get that, but I don't like them having to being forced to stand out in the snow. Be nice. You have to be nice with those ears. I know you like, to oh, Penny. So when Penny gets mad, that's all she does. I know people are like, don't let her be mean to the ponies. And trust me, if she was going to hurt my ponies, I would never let her near them. But my ponies are fine, happy, healthy. They have lots of... They have lots of weight on them. She, she got scared. <laughs> Penny, you're turning into a terror. Too much love is making you a terror. Be nice to my ponies. Thank you. All right, let's get busy. One thing I know notice about Penny is I have to be and work with her every single day. Like she doesn't she doesn't do anything bad when I don't work with her, but she does so much better when I do work with her. So I have a treat here. She knows I have a treat. But I also have a halter here that I want to put back on her. And she's not interested. You come in? Maybe she likes me now. All right, let's try it. She likes me now. We'll take care of her every weekend. Every weekend. You're the weekend warrior. Come here, Penny. Come here, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. A treat? I never got a treat. Never give her a treat. Okay. Oh, come here. Yeah, it's cold. She is one that gets cold. No, she does though. Like every single time it's cold, she shakes. I wouldn't try and hold her because you're not gonna hold her. All right, it's okay. She doesn't have to wear the halter. I just like it because it teaches me so many amazing things about her. Maybe I'll take it to the bar and use it on one of the boys. Really loving this Smart Halter by Nightwatch. If you guys are just catching it now, it is actually really, really cool. It gives me so much information. So any of you guys who have horses know that when you get a call from someone that goes to the same barn as you or someone from your horse's barn, that you panic. Last night we were in the middle of the movie theater. Gabby and Kaylee were far from us and I got a call from somebody at our barn. Let me tell you, it was like a magnet. They were at my phone so fast to hear what was going on. My heart was beating so fast. I was worried about our horses. Like getting a call about your kids or your horses, that's never a good thing. So uh, last night someone called us, some kind person called us from our barn and told us that Storm was standing out there naked with no blanket on but his blanket was tied around his legs. I think that's what she said. It was busy movie theater. I could hardly hear. I think that's what she said. And she was kind enough to take his blanket off for us. So that's amazing. She called us just to tell us that our horse is naked in the field. Naked. So we are headed there now in the middle of a blizzard. What a dumb day to take off his blanket. Um, and we're gonna get him all warm and we're gonna do some riding. Even though we've been here such a short time, this little barn feels like home to me. Does it feel like home to you? It's like home to me. The snow is piling up, you guys. Oh my gosh. There's a horse sleeping in the shelter? Mr. Naked Pants. Mr. Naked Pants. This is why you get cold. Dude. The camera acts badly if it gets wet, so I'm trying to stay in out of the snow. Oh, he looks happy today. This is how Gabby dries off Chino's hooves. Somehow I feel like it's the lazy way. I blame you. Lazy way? That's, yeah. That's the smart way. The smart way. I blame you again because yeah, you sure. are smarter than me. Oh my goodness. What the heck? 
kicks it onto him, the dirt onto him. It is days like this that make me wish our vlogs were about something different than horses. <laughs> Where are your gloves? I told you to bring gloves. I have gloves in my locker. Go get them. I need to put this on the floor so Yeah, so this is what the girls use these for. They use them to warm them up. Are you cold? Hmm, wonder why. Apparently, he, we think that he probably, a horse was bugging him or pulling on the blanket and that's how he got his blanket off. Blanket's all torn up. What? Up, You're there. joking, Gabby. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna have to get on his other one. So I guess we're going to buy a new blanket tomorrow. Since we are doing that, we might as well get one for Penny. Oh, is it just this one spot? This whole half? Oh, that's not that bad. It's a big tear, man. Oh. It's like a huge tear. On both sides. It's like he was attacked. He was probably attacked. Or the trees or something. Huh. Interesting. Abby has a, a stash of power, no, of Sour Patch Kids at the barn and the Stormy is eating it. He actually likes it today. He only eats it when he doesn't know what it is. He only eats it when he doesn't know what it is? I wish I had that problem. Good job, so get them all nice and clean. So uh, um, we're, I'm gonna, we're gonna go in the morning. We have to take the puppy to the vet and we're gonna have to go to the tax store and do some shopping. Do you wanna do that thing where you guys buy each other presents at the tax store every yeah, year? No. I don't have to pay. If you guys have noticed, Sophie's been wearing white saddle pad all the time lately. It's pink. And today she has changed it to pink. I've pink. Been wearing it for a week. Yeah, she's been wearing pink for a week, for sure. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why are you singing? <laughs> Just bu you're bugging Gabby. Gabby, are you enjoying being serenaded by your father? Gabby's ready to ride. La 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 la. <laughs> Gabby's unfazed. She's used to being embarrassed by parents. Let me take one of these blankets out there for me to be dry and warm. Mom, you're gonna have two. Oh, okay. Well, as long as I have one, I'm good. So a lot of people ask about this blanket. We have three of them. Actually, we have two from there and then another one that I bought from a different place. But um, these ones are really cheap. They're like $25 and you can get them embroidered. And actually, that was my plan to get them embroidered. This blanket is from a store called Pleasant Ridge and it's 25 bucks, you guys. 25 bucks. And my girls love them. I've always wanted them and use them this year at least they're using them you ready to ride chino bambino you ready to ride handsome man i'm sorry you got wet i'm sorry you got wet i'm, I'm not going to kiss you today <laughs> maybe he's remembering that i kissed him he does not like kissing or he really likes kissing we haven't decided all right sam just came out feeling some kind of story that we don't understand say we'll it again remember the young people will never remember this saying be kind rewind right does it you have to watch movies on a videotape and you have to rewind it before you brought it back to the rental store oh be kind rewind oh my <laughs> gosh how is that relevant to us arguing i don't get that the be kind part oh my gosh i don't get that so way back in the day you used to have to Rent video. You used to rent videos and it was a VHS, it was a tape, and before, so it would run through the tape and before you could take it back to the store you had to rewind it to the beginning of the oh, video like again. put it all back on? Yeah, so be kind, rewind. This morning I was telling Sophie about how she's watching, she was watching Tubi, do you guys know the app Tubi? This morning Sophie was riding, watching Tubi and there were four commercials in a row and she's like, this is nuts! And I said, well, back in the olden days when you used to watch TV, there you'd like all get together at night and you'd watch your special show each week and there would be commercials between each segment of the show and when there was a commercial you'd like run and go to the bathroom so you could be back in time to not miss any parts of your show and you'd go get snacks you'd make popcorn you'd like go pick your baby up like you'd do whatever you had to do 
on the commercials. So then I heard her talking to Sam downstairs later and he was complaining about the commercials and Sophie said, no, commercials are great because you can go get a snack when they're on. Remember, she Not said that? that? It's called pausing the movie. It works just the same. I know, but I mean, in the olden days, it was all about commercials. Olden days app. Yeah, well, so I'm no, there are, money. there are commercials on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, the app is free. There are, uh, 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 there yeah, are, but you can skip those commercials. Some of them you can skip. Yeah. All right, Chino Bambino, are you ready to roll? Are you ready to do it? Are you ready to ride? So, I feel like the last struggle Gabby has in her journey with Chino, like the last big struggle, is getting him to listen to her leg. Is my pants go way too big. And to get pants that fit better. Hi. So, you guys may have seen that storm. No. You guys can be fresh because the snow's falling off her. Good. You can handle fresh. You're a whole new rider this year. Can you turn on the light? Yeah. So you, well, turn them on right now. if you saw last night's video, then you might know that Sophie is learning a whole new way with Finn. So she chose to ride Storm today, so that she can have a break <laughs> from doing nothing. That's her plan. All the skills that she is learning with Brandon and Finn, slowing down. She's going to be able to put with another horse. She's going to be able to use with a less sensitive horse. Can you make sure he doesn't walk away? Yeah, he's... And can you move him forward a bit more? All right, come on. We are not going to spook at everything. Use mind over matter. If Storm spooks today, it's going to be fine. I'm going to be able to... Whoa. Oh, I'm going to be able to manage it. All our horses either draw or move to the side. Yeah. That brings me to my question of the day. What does your horse do when it spooks? Or a horse that you've been riding? What does it do? What's your typical spook reaction? Penny stops, stock still, doesn't move, doesn't do anything. She just stops. Stops, her ears perk forward, and she waits to yep. see what is happening. <laughs> Gabby says that Chino doesn't spook. Uh, big scary things. He only spooks at small little things. Wow, pretty good, huh? All right, the whole family is here together. We got mom and dad and horse and horse and kid and kid. And then we have another horse outside and then we have another horse out at home. We have like three horses at home. Yeah, we like have a big life. I always think, I always feel like that. I feel like our life is huge. I feel like our life is bigger than life. But I wouldn't want it any other way. I love being busy. I love this life. I just wish this life was in Florida. So today, I think you should practice all the things that you've been working on with Finn and use them on Storm. Oh, Storm already knows how to do it all. Yeah. And you, and you do less work to bring in Storm. Yeah, it's but true. It's true. Yeah, but you need to learn to use your legs. Right, man. We got it going on. It's exercise time on the day by day family. not that long ago Sophie would not ride storm because it was just so frustrating he can be like a bit frustrating which is why I find it hard to ride him but sometimes she rides him and she really enjoys him because this new improved Sophie she had such a big year she changed so much this past year that she her new skills she's able to really make storm go you know he gets mad if you kick too much see I feel like I watch them ride and I want to be riding so bad 
I wish I could bring my horse here and ride her. Sure. Yeah, I can't even get her used to the trailer That's because you... you have to bring her once. I know. Then you can go on trail rides with them. Yeah. Ride when they're riding. Yeah. I just feel bad for her. She hates horses, so her being in a big, huge herd would not be that good. Yeah, she'd love that. So all these little rides that we come here and we do, we just hang out and we ride, these are all building blocks to everything that they do in lessons. Like, these are the moments that they get to really know their horse. These are the moments that their horses really get to know them. mystery at the barn every time we come here Sophie thinks somebody's using her saddle every time all right so tomorrow we have to hit the tax farm by storm and penny a blanket storm and penny do you want you are you still eating sour patch kids he's like yes yes I am that's why you were such a good boy today <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the problem is we have to find a blanket that will fit storm like that's the thing is that you don't get a choice in color these ones have been really good. The ugliest blankets that you buy, though, they never break. Uh-oh, hopefully it's not broken. <laughs> is the strap missing? I hate to say it, but it's gotten really white out since we started riding. It's a winter wonderland today. We are home, and now we are going to introduce our puppies. Our puppies snow like there's actual snow on the ground so we are gonna see how they like the snow that moment when you come home and your horse is inside the arena and she hears your voice and she comes and she's standing at the fence staring at you not a real dog. Daisy's like, like safe to say Daisy hates it. She's like, help me, help me. Safe to say Molly is like, what Molly is loves it. Daisy's like, you want oh, me to do what out it. here? Molly's eating it? Mm-hmm. We'll pee again. Oh, good girl, Daisy. Yellow snow, don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat yellow snow. She's like, this is horrible. Watch, she's gonna run right to the steps. All right, Molly's here with I'm not gonna lie, she's got the power over me. You guys have been pooping inside. I'm here, Penny. I'm here, Penny. Are you coming? All right, we're gonna put the horses in early. We're gonna put them in because it's yucky out. They don't like it when it's yucky out. Hi, sweet girl. Hello. Take a bite. Bite. Bite it. That's a girl. Crap. So tr we try and teach our horses to take bites out of the apple. It's not that she has trouble biting it or chewing it. It's that she, I want her to, I want to hold half of it while she bites half of it. She doesn't quite get the concept yet. Are you ready to go in? 
I'm a sucker for Penny, you guys. And she stands there at the gate and looks at me. I just want to go down there, ride her around, take her for a walk, but kind of not in a blizzard. Anyway, we are back from the barn. The ponies, the ponies are fed. The dogs have been fed. Have you been fed your puppy? No. Uh, we are going to spend the rest of tonight watching a Christmas movie and drinking hot chocolate. You want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. And uh, we will see you guys back here tomorrow one day before my birthday. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are Just the way you can Don't you know that you're beautiful?